K-I-L-R Killer Game Hello gamers, simmers, and pilots. I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome back to the tour around the world featuring Microsoft Flight Simulator. Well, the rain um, has stopped. Um, we just kind of spent a few hours here, and we're getting pretty close to the sun coming up. Um, you can see that there. There are still some clouds in the sky, so we should actually be able to see a very, very pretty uh, sunrise. Anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and talk about our flight. Okay, so here is our uh, sublogic map. Now you may notice that this is different uh, from the previous map that we had, um, and that is because this is utilizing, uh, okay, not for this simulator, but when I had started with Flight Simulator 2, this was the time that I started using the scenery disks, the sublogic scenery disks. And let's see, I believe it was scenery disk number nine. The original uh, Chicago area was that right there. That's the original Chicago area. So the scenery disk, yeah, scenery disk number nine expanded it like this. So let me go ahead and zoom in here. And once again, we're just staying consistent with what's been done with the old, older flight simulators. And that'll be to a certain point. Uh, but this will show you why we're picking, you know, the airports uh, that we're picking for this particular simulator. But you will notice that everything ends up here. Now, Originally, there was supposed to be a scenery disc that covered this northern area in Montana. It was never made. So, Flight Simulator 2 and 3, uh, actually, when they get up to this northern part, they go east and pretty much continue on and finish up uh, exploring this particular scenery disc before going to a new one. However, uh, Flight Simulators 4 on up are able to continue going north because, well, Flight Simulator 4 was the first one that you could have custom scenery, custom content. Uh, and I had actually created some content as well because there were some airports that just weren't covered. Um, even though I was able to download some too. And then obviously, like, uh, I had to create stuff for Flight Simulator 5 as well. But the, you know, the later we got, you know, the more airports were filled in and, uh, and we're able to continue going north. And, well, that's what we'll be doing. But when we get to that, we'll be using, um, like, Navigraph. Uh, or we might use an actual VFR map or something. That's what I was using for the other ones. But this gives you an idea of what we're doing and, and why we're doing it. Okay, so going all the way back down here, this is where we're at. Champagne, 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 <laughs> Champagne Urbana, University of Illinois, Williard. And we're going to be going here to Greater Peoria. And there is a river there which leads into the Kankakee River, which is a great little uh, sightseeing thing if you, you know, wanted to do some VFR flying. 
and just like the other simulators uh, we'll be going to blooming we'll be going back to bloomington that's kind of like the midway point and then continuing to peoria we won't be landing at uh, bloomington we're just using it as a navigational aid and then pulling up the navigraph uh, with the airport chart uh, the actual name of the airport is general downing uh, uh, peoria international uh, when it first back in the early well i think it was just peoria peoria let me pull up the uh flight simulator 2 map again yeah so it used to be called greater peoria and then over time uh it changed it's kind of like bloomington normal uh that had changed to central illinois regional and that's kind of the interesting thing about comparing these individual flights between all the flight simulators is you can kind of see when did things change? When did names change? When did uh, certain nav uh, aids disappear or certain runways uh, get closed down? Because we will see that. We will see that as we um, continue uh, going uh, northbound. It's quite interesting actually, just from a historical perspective. But here is the uh, chart for Peoria, <laughs> Greater Peoria. <laughs> uh, so that way you get an idea of what the airport looks like and uh, how we'll be coming in there. Um, I've always found it interesting, at least on the old simulators, of the taxiway that would come around. It doesn't show it here, but it came around here went around like this and like the uh, the runway started somewhere around here um, it looks like maybe that has changed over time but um, yeah this is it here um, as far as approaches there's an ILS on runway 4 and 31 so we could come around and land here I've done I've done that before uh, landing on runway four. I've also landed on 31 on some of the simulators. It's not always the same runway. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and get things started here. Let's go ahead and get things turned on here. I switched over to the other 172, um, so that way we still have autopilot. Um, but we don't. We can make more use of the um, nav radios and not have to focus too much on the the Garmin. Huh, I didn't have a flashlight on this one. Turn on the fuel pump here. It's <laughs> kind of hard to see. Let's try it again. battery is on. Let's get the parking brake set. Let's open this up a little bit more. There we go. Trying to find all my uh, 
lights here. This one here is like not really doing anything. Where's the other light? Where's the panel light? Do we not have a panel light? <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was weird. I have to go over here to this area here in order to turn it on. Ah, there we go. Glare shield. Okay, that's a little too bright. This works. This is fine. Let's get our nav uh, radios tuned in. Uh, 108.2 for Bloomington. Tune this one in here, which is Peoria 115.2. Oops, wrong one. Okay, great. Got everything tuned in there. Delivery Cessna Kilo India Lima Romeo ready to copy IFR clearance to Peoria. Cessna Kilo India Lima Romeo is cleared to Peoria at airport as filed. Take off runway tree 2 right climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Departure frequency is 132.85 squawk 5745. 8,000 feet? Alright, we're going to change that when we get up in the air. Cessna Kilo in the Alima Romeo cleared to Peoria Airport is filed. Take off runway tree 2 right climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Departure on 132.85 squawk 5745. Cessna in the Alima Romeo read back correct. Contact ground on 121.8. I'm going to set it for around 3,000. Well, maybe 3,500. Heading... It should be about right, somewhere around there. Champagne ground Cessna Kilo in the Alima Romeo ready to taxi IFR. Cessna Kilo in the Alima Romeo taxi to and hold short of runway tree 2 right via taxiway Alpha. Contact tower on 127.825 when ready. Taxi to and hold short runway tree 2 right using taxiway Alpha Cessna in the Alima Romeo. One of these days I'm going to remember the change. <laughs> there are two selections. There's the Azure. And then Windows Offline, and I think this is the Windows Offline that I've got. guy here and needs to get out of the way. There it is. Okay. I'm trying to find the taxiway. This is a good runway to take off from. This is going to get us pretty much in the right direction.
wish I had a Cessna with a retractable gear. That's what I want. Those are my favorite Cessnas. That's because the early Cessnas on the uh, old flight simulators had retractable gear. So it's kind of why I, I have a I have a love for those. Okay, we'll stop here. Champagne Tower, Cessna Kilo India Lima Romeo at runway tree two right ready for takeoff IFR to Peoria. Cessna Kilo India Lima Romeo cleared for takeoff runway tree two right. Cleared for takeoff runway tree two right Cessna Kilo India Lima Romeo. I don't want 7,000 feet. Climb and maintain 7,000 feet, Cessna in the Alima Romeo. Let's try that again. Chicago Center Southwest 4401 is out of flight level 260 for 10,000 feet. Southwest 4401 Chicago Center continue as planned. Chicago Center Cessna in the Alima Romeo. Request 3,000 feet. Cessna in the Alima Romeo climb and maintain 3,000 feet. Climb and maintain 3,000 feet, Cessna in the Alima Romeo. Cessna in the Alima Romeo climb and maintain 6,500 feet. What? No, I don't want that. Climb and 
maintain 6,500 feet Cessna India Lima Romeo. Chicago Center Cessna India Lima Romeo. Request zero. Cessna Kilo India Lima what? Romeo request denied. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this ATC. I don't know what is up with it. Oh, I don't want to turn on roll mode. That just has problems. Nav mode might be working, I'm not sure. Okay, it looks like nav mode might be working. Whenever you turn on the autopilot, this roll turns on automatically and then it rolls out of control. Trying to get this to lock in on the nav. I like to fly, you know, with, you know, nav radios and stuff. Although it doesn't, doesn't seem to be doing a real good job, but... It's like going back and forth. Too bad. Okay, I think we're locked in, so that's good. Uh, wave goodbye to champagne. There it is. <laughs> it approved me for 3,000, but it wants me to go to 6,500. Uh, who knows? I'm going to take my sweet time. <laughs> Getting there. Matter of fact, I'm just going to cancel the IFR. Chicago Center Cessna India Lima Romeo would like to cancel IFR. 
Cessna and the Alima Romeo IFR flight plan is canceled. Radar service terminated. Squawk 1200. Maintain VFR. Frequency change approved. Champagne approach Cessna Kilo in the Alima Romeo is type Cessna Skyhawk 3 miles east of 5 Tree in the Alima. Request flight following. Cessna Kilo in the Alima Romeo Champagne approach. Squawk 0726. Squawk 0726 Cessna in the Alima Romeo. Cessna in the Alima Romeo radar contact 2 miles northeast of 5 Tree in the Alima 4400 feet. Altimeter 2 Niner Decimal Niner 2. Cessna in the Alima Romeo. Well, we're about halfway to Bloomington. Got this set for 3500. Yep, looks like it's doing it. Got some clouds here or something? Got some bad visibility. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit lower here. be able to see the city lights and stuff. Looking at this uh, interstate here. No, that goes to Bloomington. That might this might be Farmer City right here, I think. So we're looking at Interstate 74. This other road here is Route 190. Yeah, so this is Farmer City right here. I think this here might be Leroy. That up there might be Bloomington. Or that could be an airplane. <laughs> Going 
to 128 decimal 72 Cessna India Lima Romeo. I don't know what all this is here. Peoria approach Cessna Kilo India Lima Romeo 3000 feet. Cessna Kilo India Lima Romeo Peoria approach continue as planned. Altimeter 29 decimal 9 or 2. It's local time there. 606. Okay, the way to Peoria is two nine or zero. Change the heading bug to that. Uh, we did this uh, in the last flight. I'm going to go ahead and vanish uh, for right now and let you enjoy the flight uh, without any commentary and stuff. So I'll be back uh, when we get closer to Peoria.
Okay, I am back here. That is the airport. General Downing. Interesting enough, uh, the ATC on here is referring it to as Greater Peoria. <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing. Should be turning here in a moment. There's the outer marker. Flaps down here. I'm trying to get us down fast enough here. put on approach and it puts on a reverse. What the heck is up with this autopilot? Speaking of which, what the heck is it doing? It's going to make me crash. Ugh. So you hit the heading thing and it's like goes to roll mode first. Hit the approach, it goes to reverse. <laughs> the reciprocal uh, thing. Oh man, I swear. Got to turn my landing lights on again. Cessna 
one Cessna Kilo India Lima Romeo taxi to the gate. Cessna Kilo India Lima Romeo taxi to gate six using taxiway Bravo. Taxiing to gate six using taxiway Bravo Cessna India Lima Romeo. We're just gonna pretend which one is six. <laughs> Cause I have no idea. Yeah, let's go over here. Okay, set the parking brake. All right, we are here at Peoria International General Downing, uh, or Greater Peoria, which this one seems to think it is. I guess it's getting the database from Flight Simulator 2, who knows. Uh, <laughs> if you enjoyed this flight, uh, click that like button, uh, share the video, leave some comments, it helps out with that whole algorithm thing. And if you are new here, hey, why not subscribe, ring that notification bell, uh, so you can be part of the killer community. We have an awesome community here. and doing everything we can to get it to grow and we'd love to have you as uh, part of that community and the notification bell will let you know when uh, future flight simulation content is uploaded uh, because it comes out on certain days some are monthly and some are weekly and you may want to know when your favorite flight simulation series has a new episode uh, that comes out could be this one could be one of the old ones I also do some live streaming on Twitch throughout the week, so give me a follow over there. I'd love to be able to meet you. And then uh, every now and then I'll put some pictures and photos up on Instagram, uh, projects that I'm working on behind the scenes. Kind of gives you a little peek on what's going on. Twitter, that's our official communication channel towards uh, you folks for official killer news and announcements, and I'll sometimes find some uh, other tweets that I think you might find interesting. And then Snapchat, once in a while, I'll just take a picture and do something kind of fun with it. So if you have an account want to follow me, there is that. And then Patreon, for those of you uh, who would like to uh, support me and the channel and and what we're trying to accomplish here, uh, I greatly appreciate it. I know times are rough, um, but if you're able uh, to support and donate, uh, that is the way to do it, because you get something in return. You can also do that on uh, Twitch as well. Thanks so much for watching, I appreciate it. And I will see you on the next exciting leg of our tour. Have a killer awesome day.